Hey everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com and this is your weekly top five. This is for the week of October 2nd. At number five, we have an interview with Tilde CEO Leah Silber. She serves up tips for dealing with burnout and explains how salary transparency can help improve employee satisfaction. This is an all things open interview and you can read our entire collection on the site. At number four, we have an interview with Hans de Gode, a longtime Linux developer who will be reviewing the $9 mini computer chip at LinuxCon Europe this year. At number three, we have an article celebrating five years of LibreOffice. The Document Foundation co-founder Italo Vignoli looks back at the brief history of LibreOffice. At number two, we have an exclusive interview with Chris Anzich, the head of open source at Twitter. He explains how company engineers are working on open source technologies internally and contributing to a range of community projects. And finally, at number one, how I discovered Linux's true power. Jim Whitehurst, president and CEO of Red Hat, shares his Linux story. He says it begins like that of so many others with an old computer and a desire to tinker. And we have an honorable mention this week. It's a gentle introduction to microservices. So you might wonder, what are microservices? OpenSource.com has created a new resource page that gently introduces microservices, which are a modern way of building applications which rely upon distributed systems to do their jobs. All right, that's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me. You can watch the full video on YouTube. You can also read the full article with all the links on our site at OpenSource.com.